Greetings and salutations, Life and Poetry fam. Welcome back to Poetry 101 with Marcus T. This guy. In this series here, we'll be discussing and breaking down the basics of poetry. Well, my basics of poetry, the things that I think that you should learn when you're ready to dip your toe into the world of poetry, right? So far, we've broken down things in this series here, such as what is poetry, different poetic forms, myths and truths about poetry, my 11 rules of poetry, different poetic forms. And in this video, and as I said in the last video, guys, I wanted to talk to you the difference about two of those poetic forms, which was blank verse and free verse poet, free, blank verse and free verse poetry. Now, we're not going to go too in depth on this one here. I'm going to keep you in the basics of what it is. We're going to basically define it and maybe talk about a few things here and there throughout as we go, right? So before we jump into anything we're going to talk about, guys, do me a huge favor. Go ahead, like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead, turn on that notification bell so that you can be notified, so that you can be notified every time we hear at Life and Poetry drop a new video. Guys, thank you so much for doing that. Thank you so much for watching this series here. Thank you so much for being a part of the family. I'm excited to jump into this one here, but as I said before, it's going to be short, sweet, and simple. I don't want to bother you down with too much examples and all this stuff here, um, but I encourage you to go and research this on your own as well. Um, find those examples so you can figure out what I'm talking about as we go along. Maybe I should do examples, but I want to give you the basics. I'm just, you're just dipping toes in here. Um, so again, blank verse and free verse poetry. Let's just jump right into it, right? Here we go. Now, disclaimer. I'm learning as we go. Um, a lot of things are new here, but the beauty of poetry in my eyes is that you never stop learning. The beauty about life itself is that you never stop learning. Um, so just as I'm trying to teach you guys this here and give you guys some, some something good here, um, I'm also learning myself as I go through. So if I stumble, just be, bear with me, guys. Um, although I'm a writer, and most times, most, most people write for, I've been writing for so long that most of the formal stuff goes out the window. Once you get the groove, you're in, you're in that pocket and you just, you know, you're, you're riding that cloud all the way to the finish line. But let's talk about it, right? Blank verse, free verse poetry. Despite the similar names of the two, uh, they are very different. Very different. Um, why do you ask? Let me tell you. So, free verse poetry is not bound by rules such as rhyme and meter. And it doesn't follow the rule, a rhyme scheme, or rhyming at all, or meter. That that cadence, that, that tempo. Um, whereas blank verse poetry, right? Unlike free verse poetry, it follows a strong pattern, right? A strong metrical pattern, right? That's the basic difference between the two. And I can stop this video here and be a two second video, but Let's keep on going through, right? I want to give you some more stuff here as we go through. Um, so, bah, 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 bah. so let's 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 let's, let's talk about uh, let's talk about blank verse poems for a minute here, right? Blank verse poems because a lot of times this is the difference between the two, and it gets confusing to a lot of people, especially when you're like writing formally, or if you just prefer not to follow rules of anything, like me. Um, I made my own lane as I be begun to write. And, and again, I guess you see that in my, my rules of poetry video here. But so let's break down blank verse for a second here, right? Blank verse poem, blank, 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 yeah. blank verse poetry, like I said, is written with a precise meter, right? Um, but does not rhyme, right? Now in that meter, you have... Uh, you have a breakdown of 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 of, of a line or or, or, or piece of, of that of, of, of that, that 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 work that follows this rule here right two syllable pairs right and the second syllable in that pair is emphasized right that's the rule right it's called a I am big pentameter I am big pentameter now forgive me if I'm pronouncing it wrong but it's called an iambic pentameter. And that basically means it's this. It contains five iams. 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 Right? Which means two syllable pairs. Right? Two syllable pairs. Two syllable pairs. And with the second syllable in each pair is emphasized. Right? So, it's, it's weird enough to know that, um, that 
that that that the formal ver way of saying that there is that it basically just follows structure. It follows structure. Now I'm I'm gonna bring it down to a level that that I I think is best for me to speak about because I I don't like formal writing. You guys should know that about me by now. So for me to be talking for me to even be bringing this up to you guys is a big step for me. It's a big step because I'm learning. I'm going back and I have to relearn things here, so on and so forth. And I'm also going through things that I didn't know about, and I've been writing poetry for ten plus years. Um, but hey, you live, you learn, and you grow, right? But um. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Yeah, so that's blank verse, right? It follows that that proper iambic emphasis type structure. Uh, remember, two syllable pairs, right? Two syllable pairs. Second syllable emphasize. But now that line has at least five syllable pairs in it, though. Um, uh, f five iams, I'm sorry. Five iams in it. And, and in that, you get those two syllable pairs, so on and so forth. Second syllable emphasize. Now let's let's um, let's define iams just for a minute here. Now iams is a metrical foot consisting of of one short syllable followed by one long right syllable. Again, a iamp is at the bottom of the screen here. A metrical foot consisting of one short uh, one short syllable followed by one long syllable, right? Uh, and it's just, I don't know. It's I, that's why I don't like formal writing, right? Because the knowing all these definitions for me is a lot. I just like to write, right? But again, don't be like me. Find your path, follow your path. But well, that there is an iambic um, pentameter, and that's that pattern it's following, um, so on and so forth. So that's a blank verse. Let's drop down the free verse right quick here. We're gonna skip through my notes a little bit here. All right now, free verse, uh, free verse poetry. Um, is that in which lacks a consistent rhyme scheme, metrical pattern, or musical form, right? It, it, it's, it's not, uh, how can I say this here without making it sound like, oh, this is anything here, right? It, it's not devoid of structure. Um, uh, no, no, let's come back, let's come back. Uh, I want to give this. I want to give this. I want to give, I, I want to give this right because it, it's a lot. It's it's too. It's so common that it's just like ugh. It's like ugh for me. It's really like ugh. But yeah. So it it doesn't lack. It doesn't lack. It lacks consistent rhyme scheme and metrical pattern. Right? It doesn't follow a rule. That's basically. What, that's what I'm trying to say. It basically doesn't follow a rule. Free verse poetry does not follow a rule. Now my class is a bit different, guys. I'm I'm not your normal teacher here, right? You don't get the uncut version of me going through this here. Um, although I went through my notes beforehand, um, as I'm reading through it, I'm like, yo, I really followed this here. And like, I, I really followed this at a point in time in my journey here. But now it's like, what rules? You know, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know if it's just me. If you're, if, you're, if you're into writing, creative writing or poetry, comment down below if you follow any rules. If you, if you follow the rules that you started following when you were taught to write, guys, let me know in the comments down below. I don't, I don't know why I don't follow it all. I just don't. I don't know why. I don't know why. I really don't know why. I don't know why. I'm gonna keep saying I don't. I don't know why I don't follow. It. But well, yeah. So that's that there. Um, uh, blank verse poetry. Oof. Written with a precise meter, but no, but no rhyme. It doesn't rhyme, but it has a, it has a meter, but no rhyme. Right. Where the free verse poetry. <laughs> it's crazy, right? It's so crazy, right? It it lacks consistent rhyme. Uh, metrical pattern and musical form, or and or musical form, no rhyme, no meter. It's just there, uh, and I guess there's a sense of what spoken word is. If you if you hear a lot of spoken word spoken word artists or, or performers, you hear they go through a piece here. You're like, oh, that doesn't rhyme at all. But yeah, free verse, right? It's it's just, it's just that it's free. It's it, it's not bound by rule. It's free as can be, and it's able to breathe. Um, and and this is why I also this is why I also love uh, free verse poetry here, um, because it it literally provides um, space for the poet to to do what they do, right? Um, it, it 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 gives you uh, what I want to say. It gives you that that leeway, um, so you can do anything in it that you want to do with it, and not have to worry about that rule. 
whereas blank verse, you it's, there's a small rule there that 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 that, that shows okay, this is the different this is this is my difference here to my counterpart here. Um, remember pattern, no rhyme, blank verse, pattern, no rhyme, free verse, no pattern, no rhyme, right? So it's it's a slight difference, but it's big in in, in a way. If, if you're writing it, uh, you'll see it. And I I know me what I've done before. Is I've merged the two. I've merged the two multiple times. Where I, where I would have a certain stanza. Where I wanted to rhyme because I wanted to stand out. I want to have that meat. I want to have that pattern, that cadence, that that rhyme, that rhyming structure. But as I go through, I, I'll pull back from it and I, I'll tiptoe in and out of it. Now it's it's it, when when I first started writing, I had a, a writer tell me, an instructor tell me that it was frowned upon to do that um, because you have to follow the rule. You have to follow the rule of writing, or it's not writing. Yeah, that went out the window a long time ago with me. I do as I do, and I, I like how I do it. But, uh, but that's that's basically the difference, guys, of free verse poetry and blank verse poetry. Again, it's not a long video here. Um, again, blank verse poetry, meter, no rhyme, meter, no rhyme, free verse poetry, no meter, no rhyme. Um, and it's I don't know. It's 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 just ah oh, man, it's just crazy to me. That it can be as it can be really just that simple, but that different, you know. And it's and it's the irony of well, I won't say irony of it all, but the, the, when you break it down, you start to realize the poets of today uh, generally uh, don't follow rules of rhyme or meter, like myself. Um, and it, and it's I, I think for me it's because I don't like structure. I think that poetry should be as free. As I am, um, I, I don't want to be. I don't want it to be bound by anything, and that's what I get with free verse. I'm not bound by it. Whereas blank verse, I have to follow. I have to. I have to go back to the standard. I got back to that structure. I got to go back to that meter. Um, I don't have to rhyme, but that meter is there, right? Um, I got that bop. I got that bop, right? I got that bop. Whereas, whereas blank verse, I mean free verse, I can just roll out with it, and I think that's why me personally, it's why I like free verse poetry. This is going to be the most oddest class I've done so far. I know, right? I didn't follow that. I didn't even follow the rules of me going to my notes. I don't care. Because I want you to know that no matter how you choose to write, it's okay. Whether you're following blank verse poetry, free verse poetry, whether you're writing sonnets or ballads or 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 or, 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 or odes or or anything of that nature, write it in a way that you see fit to do it. If, if you want to follow structure, find your structure. Find what makes you happy. Find what's easy for you to do. But don't be afraid to test the waters from time to time, right? I encourage, I encouragingly challenge you to test the waters with your writing, and and find something else. Like you don't have to, you don't, you don't always have to stick, stay in this lane here. Be free enough to say, be free enough to say, okay, this is what I want. This is what I don't want here in your writing. I'm like I said, I've, I've merged, I've, I've merged old. I, I've, I have a poem that I just did not too long ago for um, uh, a friend of mine. Um, and I merged an ode, a ODE with a sonnet. Um, not not so much the formality of it, but but in a sense the the uh, the, the rule, the principle of it all. Um, and it came out flawlessly. That's what I wanted to do. So I created a lane there. And although these rules are in place for people, it's, it's a great instructional tool to learn these here. But I've learned that once you get in your craft and you start to master your craft, that you start to make your own rules as you go along. And you start to create these new forms of things. Just like there was a time where ballads weren't ballads or sonnets weren't sonnets weren't solids or free verse was a free verse, so on and so forth. And they started to come up as writers started to say, you know what, let me develop something new here. And, and, and let, me, let me make this new principle here to go into this, so on and so forth. Uh, and and that's, that's, that's what happened, you know. Um, just as they did with blank verse and free verse poetry. It wasn't always blank verse poetry or free verse poetry. Um, and that to me is interesting. That to me is interesting there. Um, free verse poetry uh, was thrived of, uh, in, what I say, in the, the early 1900s. Um, and then you come around at these other one, what's, what's that, the 20th century? And then you, you you pull back into blank verse poetry, and and you see that blank verse poetry came around um, in the 16th century. So it's it's like okay, one may be here first, but it doesn't stop there. It doesn't stop there. 
Um, you, you have these, all, all these new things are coming up. Just like in music. Music has changed and evolved so much um, to the point where it's, you never know what tomorrow's going to bring. I think that I think that applies here in poetry as well. I think poetry and music are hand in hand, regardless of if you think about it. Uh, it's lyrical, but it it all comes back to okay, what's next? How do we evolve blank verse and get to free verse? How do we evolve free verse and get to this? How do we evolve that to get to that? So on and so forth. Um, and that's that's why I love writing, guys. And that's why I'm doing these classes here to show you that it doesn't stop with just the basics of here. I, I can give you basics day in and day out, but what I want you to see is that the basics are here to get you going instead of get you through that door. Um, that's why I've done the myths and truths about poetry. That's why I gave you the, the a few poetic forms to show you that it doesn't stop with just two. It doesn't stop with just cat, hat, bat, rat. You know, it doesn't just stop there with Shakespeare or Maya Angelou, Langston Hughes, Emily Dickinson, uh, uh, an, another writer, phenomenal poet that I follow now, Rudy Francisco. Um, and there are others. There are groups out here with young poets. There's a, uh, a poetry group I follow um, called Youth, Youth Speaks, um, uh, Button Poetry, so on and so forth. Uh, and they, they, are, they are diving into understanding the basics of it all and making it their own. Again, I encouragingly challenge you to make it your own. Find what you like. Pull from something. Make it your own. Don't be afraid to say, you know what? I'm going to be me. Accept it or don't accept it. Right? So again, guys, Blink vs. Poetry is what? Poetry that follows. Follows what? That's right. Meter. No rhyme. Free vs. Poetry follows what? Nothing. No meter, no rhyme. Nothing. That's the basis of it all, guys. I'm going to get out of here for I Try to, to, um, to go on my soapbox here about what the two are. But that's the base of it all, guys. I really wanted you to know that piece there, right? The basic definition, the basic difference is uh, blank verse poems are not, a free verse poems are not bound by rules such as rhyme or meter, whereas blank verse poems, unlike free verse poems, adhere to a strong metrical pattern, a strong meter, but doesn't necessarily rhyme. Life and Poetry Family, I know it was a lot. I hope you got some out of this video today. I know this one wasn't my best one here, but I just don't like rules. Huh? But Life and Poetry Family, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to share these videos here. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Share the videos. Turn on the notification bell. Um, let me know what you think down below, guys. Um, also, guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about it, don't, don't be afraid to comment down below. Also, you can find me on... Uh, Hit me my Instagram uh, page, um, which is down there. So what's my TikTok page? It's going to pop up somewhere down there. Um, they both are at officially that Marcus that T. Um, if you want to follow my the faith, if you want to follow the Facebook, um, the Facebook Life and Poetry uh, like page, the Facebook Life and Poetry page, the Life and Poetry Facebook page. Um, the link for that is in the description down below. Um, as well as as well as the link to the uh, my first book, Love in the, Love in the Eyes of the Author. If you haven't got yourself a copy of that. Click that link down below. Give you got give your boys some support. I'm um, gonna buy a copy or 16 of that book there. Um, and as as I've said before, I'm working on the second book here. And as I close out this series here, we will, I will give you a, um, a sneak peek into the second book. Um, guys, just stay tuned. Just stay tuned, guys. I think that there there may be one more class here in the uh, in this here. I don't know just yet. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Actually, yes, there'll be one more class where this class here we'll be breaking down the final pieces of that I think you should know. Um, do, 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 is that the final piece I want you to know? Let me see. Let me see. I got to go through my notes. Got to go through my notes. Yeah, yeah, this final piece I want you to know about, um, which is uh, meter and stanza. Uh, what is meter and poetry and what is a stanza? That will be the last video, guys, that will follow this one here. I don't know when it's going to be posted. It's going to be uploaded there. But just stay tuned for it, guys. Don't forget, though, like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you for being part of the family. Thank you for, thank you for being part of the team. Um, it's always a pleasure being here before you guys and doing these videos here. Um, and as always, stay true to your craft. Find your voice. Find your desire. Find your passion. 
I know the change in every video I do, and I, I do it intentionally, intentionally and unintentionally, unintentionally at the same time. But find your voice and find that audience that you want that you want to project your voice to. Um, and remember that uh, a, a voice, a voice is yours and yours alone. And words without an audience is just a whisper, guys. Find your audience, find your voice. Keep doing you. Keep being great at it. And no matter what, be yourself while doing it. Um, so we got to go. I hope your family. Stay safe. Be blessed. Till next time. We out. Peace.